Why is Rome's Pantheon, the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome, still standing after 1,900 years while modern buildings crumble? The answer, a lost recipe and some mind-bending secrets. Built by Hadrian in 126 CE, the Pantheon's concrete actually gets stronger with time thanks to volcanic ash, lime and seawater. This mix forms rare minerals that make the concrete self-healing unlike anything we use today. Only recently did scientists discover, using electron microscopes, that Roman concrete was designed to form microcracks and air pockets, making it flexible under stress. The dome weighs 5,000 tons, yet has zero steel supports. The trick? The concrete gets lighter as it rises, heavy stone at the base, volcanic pumice at the top. Genius, that giant hole in the dome, the oculus, a 30-foot wide opening, acts as a compression ring distributing weight and stopping collapse. While most of Rome sits on unstable clay, seismic scans reveal the Pantheon rests on solid alluvial soil, a hidden advantage that helped it survive for centuries. It wasn't just engineering. In 609 CE, the Pantheon became a church, protecting it from looters who stripped other Roman monuments bare. Modern tests show Hadrian's architects understood structural forces that wouldn't be rediscovered for another 1,400 years. So, was the Pantheon a fluke? or proof the Romans were centuries ahead of their time. Hit subscribe for more jaw-dropping discoveries from the forgotten corners of the past.